Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here. And this is a mod spotlight for refined storage. And specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about remote access to that storage. Now in the previous episodes, we dealt with creating the entire refined storage setup so we can store our goods. And we also talked about in another one about how to do some crafting and make it do work for us. Both really nice, so we don't need this. Bye. Nope, let's take a look at what we got here. So here's the setup that we've got with the crafting and everything, but something new, this long cable heading off to a storage drawer setup where my diamond and gold ore is. And if we take a quick look here, sure enough, there's the diamond, there's the gold. So we are good to go. But what if you've got areas that are far, far, far away? We're talking about you know hundreds or thousands of blocks away. Do you want to build long cable chains all the way out there? Oh, I don't. And there's a way to get around that. So we take a network transmitter and we just drop that here somewhere in the main area. And with that, we no longer need this cable run in place. Goodbye. But we do need a network receiver. And for reasons I won't talk about right now, I'm going to put it right down here. But these two don't know each other. They have no clue that the other one exists. And you can see this has no power. So to make it know how to talk to the other, we need something new. We need a network card. So let's craft up one of those. And you right click here onto the receiver. And if we take a look, sure enough, it is now linked to this block. So now we can come over here to the network transmitter. And if we open this up, and drop that card in place, it now knows of the other block. And it says, hey, 12 blocks away, and it's now lit up. And if we take a look at our system, sure enough, there's the gold and diamonds again. It's part of this whole system. Even though there's, look, ma, no wires, they are connected, which works out mighty nice. But what if this remote area is really far away? I'm talking in an entire different dimension. Uh, they're not going to talk to each other. Unless you come here and you add an upgrade. Doink! There we go. Interdimensional upgrade has been added to this. And now these two will talk to each other across dimensions. Uh, at a price. Every pair that you add in will increase the amount of power the system will, will consume. And the distance between these two will also increase the price. And then adding in this upgrade will increase the price even more. So let's take a look at how much power this is consuming. Let's scroll down. There's the transmitter and the receiver. This is chewing up 1,098 RS per tick. And this is chewing up 15. The 98 and 15 that's because of the distance. That 1,000 is because of the upgrade. That single interdimensional upgrade, that's 1,000 RS. So the more pairs you have, and the farther away they are, and that upgrade will increase the price. But access, I love that. Having that far access is really, really nice. Now, talking about far access, what if you want to access your stuff from here? And you don't want to have to come all the way up to it and say, hi there. No, you want to be able to be here to access it. Well, we can do that with the wireless grid. You know, we got the crafting grid, the pattern grid, the, the crafting monitor. Well, this crafting, this wireless grid allows me to talk to the network. So let's talk. But we can't talk. Why can't we talk to it? Well, for one thing, this doesn't have any idea where it's connected. If you look at the screen, it's kind of gray. Well, if we right click and I shift right clicked the controller, now it's turned blue. It's now bound to this controller. It knows which network it, it wants to talk to. So if we right click now, nope, there's no wireless transmitter in range. It's got to speak wirelessly here. Well, this is the network transmitter and receiver. This is not the wireless. To do that, we need to put this, the wireless transmitter 
And if we try to add that onto the system, it doesn't work because it needs to have a cable. And it needs to be connected to the top of a cable. Now we've got a wireless transmitter and it's got a range of 16 blocks, which is really cool. So now if we go ahead and click, we still don't access it. Well, we've got the transmitter, we've got it bound, it has no power. So if we come over here and we'll just drop it in, hey, we got power. So now if we click, success! We can now access everything and every time we access and close and access and close and, and move stuff out and put stuff in, our power goes down. And so having a, a, a quick place to charge this up or maybe a wireless RF charger or something like that would be mighty handy. But that still gives you a lot of chances to, to work on this. But what if you're a little bit farther away? There we go. We're no longer in range because that has a range of 16. Well, there are upgrades for that. So let's take a look. Doot, 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 doot. Let's put in those range upgrades and you can see now it has a range of 48 blocks, which is as long as that, that can go as far as range wise, which is cool. We can access it here. We can come over to this area and we can still access it, which is great. But let's suppose, let's suppose that this area here is thousands of blocks away from that area over there and we can access everything just grand here. But when we come over to this remote area and we try to access it, yeah, we're, we're out of range. Well, just stick another one of those transmitters right here in your remote area and voila, you can still access it. That is pretty darn cool. I love it. And that's the refined storage wireless access. We've got for the network here, the two blocks and for remote crafting or actually not crafting, it's just access, but for the wireless transmitter to the person and between segments of your network, it works great. Yes, fantastic mod. I'm loving this mod a lot. Uh, be sure to take a look in the description for the other tutorials that I've uh, done for this mod spotlight dealing with uh, getting set up and dealing with uh, crafting as well as this one for remote access. Anyway this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here with this mod sp spotlight for refined storage. Thanks for watching. Bye!